Hi there, this is uh, Shrikanth Asari. So in this lesson, we are going to learn about uh, the passing uh, array as a pointer uh, in functions. Okay. So let me launch ID. So already I have created a project under the name uh, function 7 here. So which contains a, a C file, a function 7.c. Okay. So all the basic stuff follows. So, so first let us take an array. Okay. So let's name the array as ARR. And to keep it simple, so let's take uh, five element integer array here. Okay. So, uh, so to define uh, to pass an array, so as we need a function. So let us call the uh, function name as print array here. Okay. So we need to pass the array uh, and the number of elements as we did in the so previous example. Okay. So now uh, let us write the definition here. Since it's not going to return anything, let's keep it as white followed by the name of the function. And now, so instead of uh, taking uh, array uh, previously, uh, explicit array. So now let us take a pointer here. Okay. And to hold the to hold the size, so let us take uh, to hold the size. Let us take the uh, size variable of integer for integer here. Okay. So here, uh, what we are going to do is uh, just we have passed the uh, array name, which implicitly uh, holds the base address. Okay. So the name of the array uh, consists of a base address. So that's the reason. Uh, so if you pass the array, uh, name of the array, it gets uh, the base address, it's carry forwards or it passes the base address of the array and stores in the pointer uh, variable here, okay. So since when you, whenever you're talking about addresses, uh, so immediately uh, you have to get uh, the thing strikes in your mind is a pointer which holds the address of a variable, okay. So the array is nothing but a pointer, okay. So the name of the array itself consists the base address. Okay. So here, uh, let's take again a for loop here. So previous to that, let us initialize a variable i. So i is equal to zero. I less than size and i plus plus. Okay. So i less than size and i plus plus. So now what we are going to do here here is um, so our function is the use of our function is to just print the array data okay so here whatever the data you are having so to make it simple we have just taken a small function to print the array so to print the array means we need a printer statement here printf slash on slash t percentage d so and here let us say something like this star of a plus i okay so this notation, if you recall the concept of pointers, so star is the operator which is used to retrieve the value stored uh, at that address. Okay, so pointer holds the address uh, and star retrieves the value from that address. Okay, so here we have taken a for loop here, and uh, for every instance of the for loop, uh, the address is get incremented. Okay, uh, here you are doing some pointer arithmetic here, so address gets incremented for every instance and then the value of the uh, then the value uh, the stored at that address is retrieved using this asterisk operator ok so let's have a small message also here just says the contents so array error five just for all these things for just for understanding purpose ok so now if we save and run the program, oops, we have an uh, error here. Okay. So it's always a good practice to have uh, the prototype at the beginning of the function. Okay. It's taking a bit longer. Okay. So for our convenience, let us make it as uh, a bit uh, 
larger here. So if you if you check the output here, we have just got the uh, displayed the contents of the array. Okay, we have just displayed the contents of the array here. So again, let us make it a bit bigger. Okay, we have just displayed the contents of the array here. So how this is all this possible is uh, here we have used a pointer. So if you recall, uh, if you go back to the program. So here we have taken a, a pointer um, here in the function definition and just uh, the name of the array. Uh, in the previous example, we have uh, uh, done something like this. Okay. So uh, in the previous example, we have done something like this. Okay. So it uh, here the name of the uh, this works. This even works perfectly. Okay. So even though you have taken um, uh, this, this works perfectly. You get the same output. Okay. So instead of uh, taking the array, uh, uh, initializing the array. So here, uh, in our uh, our intention is to pass the array as a pointer. So, so we are saying that the array is nothing but a pointer itself. Okay. So the base address is stored in the name of the array. Okay. Here the name of the array is ARR. Okay. Whenever you are passing the array, it means that uh, the base address you are passing the base address okay so even though uh, you don't take pointer uh, even though you take uh, an array with empty braces okay so even this works uh, perfectly for you okay so even though you take like this uh, the size of an array is not mandatory okay so even though you can omit here also okay so now if you save and run the program it works perfectly okay the, the the size of the way uh, explicitly you need not uh, specify okay so even though uh, you specify in your uh, uh, definition of the array so whenever you are uh, passing the array as an argument you need not uh, specify here explicitly okay so all these things are valid even though you don't specify the size explicitly or you can just mention the size or else if you remove everything and just you take a pointer variable so everything works the same okay the programmer has a lot of flexibility so according to his convenience, uh, he can use whatever the method he wanted. Okay. So also here, uh, even though you say just say the name of the array, or instead of the name of the array, if you say something like this. Okay. If you recall the concept of uh, pointers, which we have studied uh, in previous lesson, the address is retrieved by the ampersand operator. Okay. So if you say something like this, uh, the base address, if you say explicitly the name of the base address. It gives the name of the array, it gives the base address, or else can you are having a convenience to do something like this also. So, since the address am, uh, ampersand retrieves the address of the stored uh, address, retrieves the address, okay. So, even this works for you, all are the same, okay. So, you get the same output. So, and also, uh, as we have said, that base address means the address of the first element, okay. So, you can also, you are also welcome to say something like this also, okay. So if you say something like this, the zeroth element, uh, which is the base, uh, and we are retrieving that base address using this ampersand operator, okay? And then it uh, retrieves the same thing, okay? The same output for this also, okay? So all these things according to the kindness of the programmer, so we can uh, use, okay? So for our, uh, the easiest, the most easiest way is to just keep it simple, just pass the name of the array instead of uh, doing ampersand and all and also here just take a simple pointer variable so it stores the base address in this pointer variable and just uh, using our for loop here so each time we are just uh, incrementing uh, the location address okay so if you say something like this uh, so percentage d is our element is at percentage u so all these things we have done in our uh, pointer uh, thing, okay? So if you say something like this, a plus i. So every time uh, you do, you perform this operation, you get the address printed, okay? So this is the addresses where the where the element is stored, okay? Uh, so for our convenience, let us. Uh, let us take it as x okay so percentage x is the perfect representation of our address so better than x you can say something like this better than x is u okay so if you observe the one 
द कॉन्टेंट ऑफ द जीरो एलिमेंट इज वन ओके ए ऑफ जीरो सो लेट एस प्रिंट दैट आल्सो हियर टू बी मोर क्लियर so we are uh, printing the message a bit uh, clarity so now if we check the output here so error uh, zero is a zero the subscript or zero element where the value one is stored at the address so in so address okay in the memory so if you observe uh, the next element uh, since the array is a contiguous uh, locations okay the elements are stored in contiguous locations so if you observe uh, at the addresses here 2 uh, followed by the next address would be 6 okay since the size of an integer is 4 bytes so each time you get 4 uh, bytes added to your address okay so now 6 in the next instance it's 56 plus 4 60 64 and 68 okay so error of 0 so is the zeroth element of the array is 1 uh, since we have stored 1 2 3 4 5 here is at the address so and so okay so address we have retrieved using the uh, a plus i so he, here we have passed the address from the calling function which is main to the definition and just uh, we are each time using the loop we are doing performing an arithmetic operation here so that the address gets incremented and the value stored that at that address is retrieved using the asterisk operator here okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, passing the array as a pointer uh, in functions in c okay so see you in the next lesson goodbye